Hello everybody, I'm Laura Gonor and today in the compilation course I will speak about program analysis with abstract interpretation. In the first video I will make a quick intro about abstract interpretation and static analysis in general uh, so that to convince you that this is really useful in reality. Why do we need such program analysis? Uh, first of all because programs are everywhere and because we need safety and performance. We need performance since we don't want to wait our favorite web page, for instance, to be charged in less than, let's say, two seconds. And we also need safety since we don't want our favorite rocket to crash during its launching or our laptop to reboot after one hour of use. Uh, why do programs crash? They crash because in the source code, they still remain array out of bound accesses, so illegal accesses to memory, or program have complex pointer behavior that makes it difficult to debug. Let's make a look at program safety. Uh, look at this program, and this program is a C program that uses static arrays. Uh, the array V is of size 10, it's declared of size 10 here, and we made a legal access here. Of course, we might make illegal accesses there, and this can cause a crash if we don't uh, if we don't compile it properly. Okay, so this is an illegal access that we may want to detect. Let's make another example. In this program, the developer aimed to find the minimum of the array A between the lower index L and the upper index U. For proving the correctness of this program, we may have to prove that B at the end is the, indeed the minimum of that array. Okay. Program analysis might be useful to prove that correctness. Let's speak a bit about performance. Uh, I still have a program that fills an array, but now this array is declared in another way. Um, if you look at carefully at these two loops here, the first loop for and the second for loop, they do access different parts of the memory of this array P. Because they do access this different part of the memory, these regions do not overlap, we might decide during computation that these two loops can be parallelized and make two different threads. That's the kind of static analysis we might want to enable performance. Another example about performance, for instance, in this program, we have three arrays as input there. And in the while loop, there is an only access to the P memory. Okay. So if we, if we know that P and P2 do not alias, which means they do not access the same memory, then the instruction here A is assigned to the content of the cell P is invariant inside the while loop. So because it's invariant, we could hoist this statement there. If the loop is intensive, it would, may, it would have the consequence of making it quicker. It saves one load per loop. So in this course, I will use two reference books that are the principles of program analysis and introduction to static analysis for abstract interpretation. Now a few words about why this program analysis course is inside the compilation course. First of all, in the beginning of this compilation course, we have seen that we absolutely want the code that is generated to have the same semantics of our input programs. In program analysis, these semantics also appear. 
uh, because we want to infer properties and prove the absence of bugs and everything is defined with respect to semantics. So in both cases, programs are inputs and understanding semantics is essential for understanding the uh, kind of algorithm we design. Now, a sad info. There is no free lunch, which means that there is no magical static analyzer that can prove interesting properties on general shaped programs automatically and exactly. Because we want to remain automatic and we don't want to restrict a priori the shape of our programs. We will enable false positives. And abstract interpretation is a great theory for constructing conservative, which means bigger approximations of program behaviors of our programs. A program analysis with abstract interpretation is a success story. Since this seminal pa paper of Patrick Cuzo and Radia Cuzo in 1977 at Popol, which is a famous conference about programming languages, a whole research as area has begun. And this research results have led to a first success story, which is the design of the Astri program analyzer in Paris. And Astri was able to prove the complete absence of error of a whole airplane code in November 2003 in the primary flight control software. And because now it has plenty of applications in critical software system, the Astri has begun a whole product in the Germany company Absins. But this is about critical systems. Uh, nowadays, the abstract interpretation theory and practice is coming to the general purpose software. And uh, one proof of that is that the company, the Facebook company, has its own static analyzer, which is called Infor. But this is the end of the intro about abstract interpretation. The other video will make it work in theory and practice. Bye-bye.